1. Jackie Chan Have you heard that Jackie Chan disowned and abandoned his daughter for being a lesbian? He was supposed to play everything everywhere all at once at first, but as it had an LGBTQIA plus theme, it was quickly written off. At 18, Etta Ng and her girlfriend, Andy Autumn, made a video explaining that her parents were homophobic. So they were homeless, forced to sleep under bridges at night. She said that, I don't, I don't even understand what's going on because we've gone to the police, we've gone to the hospital, the food banks, LGBTQ communities, shelters, and all of them just don't give a shit. <laughs> Etta and Andy also revealed that they got married, with Etta writing on Instagram at that time. We have been pursuing happiness since the day we were born. Abused as children who never felt love, we have so much to give. Well, sometimes it's hard to see your parents not loving you no matter what. 3. Liam Neeson During an interview from 2019, the Irish actor Liam Neeson told of once walking armed with a small cush, hoping to kill a black man. I'm ashamed to say that, and I did it for maybe a week hoping some black would come out of a pub and have a go at me about something you know so that i could kill him this shock of an admission came at a promotional event for his film cold pursuit as he revealed his character's quest for revenge on the drug people who killed his son. Neeson narrated the story as an example of how deep-seated our desire for revenge becomes after injury is done to family members. 4. Mark Wahlberg Are you aware that when Mark Wahlberg was 16, he was involved in a hate crime with two Asian males? Wahlberg went to jail because he was convicted of assaulting two Vietnamese men in what is believed an anti-Asian hate crime. Despite his two-year sentence, he served just 45 days for this attack, which blinded one of his victims. Wahlberg has expressed regrets since then and has been involved in a number of philanthropic projects, but this event remains a part of his history that is regularly questioned. 5. Tom Cruise You won't have ever expected that when the member Lisa McPherson suffered a wrongful death, Tom Cruise served the Church of Scientology as well. As the church was accused of abuse against Lisa, they used Cruz to evade the trial. Woo in politicians in Florida. A different person alleges his own guilt. Within the church, he uses forced labor to carry out his will and they just get $50 a week. Doing things like fixing his motorcycles when he's well aware of the terms of employment, but he still goes to join in in order to profit from inflicting them. 6. CeeLo Green Treating women this way don't end here. CeeLo Green stands accused of slipping an ecstasy pill into an unnamed 33-year-old woman's drink and assaulting her while unconscious. She woke up without memory of the night prior. It was revealed that the 39-year-old Grammy winner had dinner with a 33-year-old woman in Los Angeles over a year ago, during which he allegedly slipped her the drug before accompanying her to her hotel room. The woman claimed she woke up naked next to the singer, unsure of how she got there. CeeLo denied any sexual assault allegations with his attorney stating that any relations between him and the woman were consensual. There wasn't enough evidence to charge him with a sex-related crime, but legal experts believed it might have been tough to prove the drug charge. Despite his popularity, prosecutors pursued the drug charges, which could have led up to four years in prison if he had been convicted. 7. Don Henley Another similar case arose when Don Henley was accused of overdosing a 16-year-old girl. The girl, named Lorena Ann Moore, overdosed on cocaine and quaaludes at a party hosted by Henley at his Los Angeles home. She was found naked and unconscious in the house. Henley was charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor and possession of marijuana and cocaine. He pled no contest to the drug charges and received a fine and two years of probation. Following this incident, Henley wrote a song titled Nobody's Business for his 1982 solo album I Can't Stand Still. The song addresses the media scrutiny and criticism he faced in the aftermath of the overdose incident. The lyrics convey his frustration with the public's interest in his personal life and the negative portrayal by the media. 
8. Chris Brown Well, no one has forgotten the physical abuse that Chris Brown inflicted on Rihanna. But let's keep it that way. Chris Brown's assault included knocking her head into the passenger side window, repeatedly punching and strangling her to near unconsciousness before a resident in the neighborhood heard her plea for help. However, he's done so much more and continues to get away with abusing women. For example, he shoved a woman to the ground causing torn ligaments. He punched a woman in the face in Las Vegas in 2016. His former ex Karuchi Tran won a five-year restraining order in 2017, threatened a woman with a gun in 2018, and was accused of drugging and sexually assaulting a woman in 2022. Still, he has women throwing themselves at him. One asks, how is this guy still getting work and recognition? In this age of cancel culture, he's way overdue. Others note he has a top 10 single on the radio right now. 9. Jack Nicholson Did you know that Jack Nicholson beat the daylights out of a sex worker, resulting in damages that are now killing her? Jack Nicholson, a legendary actor known for his iconic roles in movies like The Shining and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, was involved in a violent altercation with a sex worker that has had severe and long-lasting consequences. The incident occurred several years ago when Nicholson allegedly assaulted the sex worker, causing significant injuries. Initially, the victim received a settlement for the damages, but her condition has since deteriorated. Her lawyer, Ira Chester, stated that about a year after she received the original payment, her injuries and the damage to her brainstem got worse than originally thought. The original settlement isn't enough. This revelation sparked renewed attention on Nicholson's past behavior and the impact of his actions. 10. Steven Tyler Who can imagine that Steven Tyler had a relationship with a 16-year-old girl Holcomb when he was 25? He convinced the teen's parents to sign over legal guardianship. The lawsuit alleges that she met him in 1973, shortly after her 16th birthday, when she attended an Aerosmith concert in Portland, Oregon, and returned to Tyler's hotel room after the show. The suit claims that after discussing her age, Tyler performed various acts of criminal sexual conduct upon her. According to the lawsuit, the relationship progressed and Holcomb was powerless to resist Tyler's power, fame, and substantial financial ability. In 1974, Tyler convinced Holcomb's mother to grant him guardianship over her so they could travel across state lines. Then, finally, Tyler pressured her into aborting his son when she was only 17. Holcomb converted to Catholicism following her alleged relationship with Tyler and became an anti-abortion activist who has repeatedly spoken out about her experience. 12. Travis Scott Travis Scott, known for his rap music and energetic performances, is not free from the chains of being notorious. He faced serious allegations involving his former manager, Shane Morris, and his handling of a medical emergency. Travis Scott is the worst person I worked with in my entire career in music. The story that DDOT is telling is true. I'm Travis Scott's former manager. I'm the one who had a seizure, and I'm the one that he left for dead in a basement in Los Angeles. Morris further claimed that Scott expressed discriminatory attitudes towards his epilepsy, suggesting that he did not want a manager who would have seizures around and did not want to bring certain individuals like fellow rapper T.I. into such situations. This alleged response from Scott raises significant concerns about his empathy, professionalism, and understanding of medical conditions. 13. John Lennon Do you know that John Lennon, a celebrated musician and part of the iconic band The Beatles, has a controversial history involving allegations of domestic abuse? Despite being revered as an icon of peace and love, Lennon's first wife Cynthia and his second wife Yoko Ono reportedly experienced abuse at his hands. The song Hey Jude, originally titled Hey Jules, was intended as a comforting message to his son Joel. Julian Lennon, who allegedly suffered emotional abuse from his father. Reports indicate that Lennon lashed out of Julian even at a young age, with harsh words about his laughter. These revelations have brought attention to the darker aspects of Lennon's personal life, contrasting with his public image as a symbol of peace and love. 14. Don King 
Don King, who has remained a controversial figure in the boxing world, known for his flamboyant personality and promotion skills, was involved in a tragic incident that marred his reputation. In 1966, King was convicted of manslaughter for killing his employee, Sam Garrett, during a dispute over a $600 gambling debt. The altercation reportedly escalated, leading King to pistol whip Garrett and then stomp on him causing fatal injuries. Despite his conviction, King served less than four years in prison, which some critics viewed as a lenient sentence given the severity of the crime. Adding to the controversy, there were reports that the Cleveland City Council considered renaming the street where the incident occurred after King, rather than honoring Garrett, the victim. This decision sparked outrage and raised questions about the ethics and values of the council members. 15. John Travolta John Travolta has also faced serious allegations of sexual abuse in 2012. Four men accused Travolta of inappropriate behavior and sexual misconduct, sparking public scrutiny and media attention. However, the allegations did not result in any legal charges or formal legal actions against Travolta. Some observers noted that a public reaction to the allegations seemed to focus more on speculation about Travolta's sexual orientation than on the accusations of sexual abuse. This reaction highlighted broader societal attitudes towards LGBTQ plus individuals and the complexities of navigating public perceptions in the entertainment industry. There were also speculations that the Church of Scientology, of which Travolta is a prominent member, may have played a role in influencing the outcome of the allegations. The Church of Scientology has faced criticism for its alleged practices of protecting its members including prominent figures like Travolta, from negative publicity or legal repercussions. 16. Michael Irvin In the incident involving Michael Irvin and his teammate Everett McIver, the altercation reportedly occurred at a barbershop. The dispute arose over who would get their hair cut first, leading to a heated argument between the two men. According to reports, the situation escalated and Irvin allegedly stabbed McIver in the neck with a pair of scissors. The use of a sharp object in the altercation heightened the seriousness of the incident, as it posed a significant risk of injury or even death. The aftermath of the altercation resulted in legal proceedings, but despite the severity of the incident, Irvin did not face any jail time. The lack of significant legal consequences for Irvin raised questions about the handling of off-field controversies involving athletes, particularly in cases where violent actions are alleged. 17. Roman Polanski Roman Polanski has serious allegations of drugging and sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl in 1977. The details of the case are disturbing, and Polanski eventually pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor. However, before sentencing, Polanski fled the United States and has since remained a fugitive from justice. Despite his legal troubles and the serious nature of the allegations against him, Polanski continues to receive accolades in the film industry. He has been awarded prestigious honors such as an Oscar for his film The Pianist, which he could not accept in person due to his fugitive status. Some celebrities have publicly defended him, and his reputation in certain circles remains largely unaffected by his past actions. 19. Vince Neil In a shocking and tragic incident that shook the music world. Vince Neil, the lead vocalist of the heavy metal band Motley Crue, was involved in a devastating car accident in December 1984. While driving under the influence of alcohol, Neil caused a car crash in Redondo Beach, California, which resulted in the death of one person and severe injuries to two others. The accident had far-reaching consequences not only for the victims and their families, but also for Neil and the band's reputation. Despite the gravity of the situation, the legal repercussions for Neil were surprisingly lenient. He was sentenced to just 30 days in jail and 5 years of probation for his role in the fatal accident. 
However, even this relatively light sentence was cut short, as Neil served only half of his 30-day jail term. This outcome sparked widespread criticism and raised serious concerns about the fairness and effectiveness of the justice system. 22. Martha Stewart Martha Stewart faced legal troubles related to insider trading. In 2004, she was convicted of conspiracy, obstruction of justice, and making false statements to federal investigators in connection with a stock sale. The charges stemmed from Stewart's sale of I'm Clone System stock in 2001, just before the stock's value plummeted due to negative news about the company. Stewart was accused of receiving insider information about the stock's impending decline and selling her shares based on this non-public information. Despite maintaining her innocence, Stewart was found guilty on all charges and sentenced to five months in prison, followed by five months of home confinement and two years of probation. Her conviction had a significant impact on her media empire and personal brand, but she later made a successful comeback in the business world. 23. O.J. Simpson O.J. Simpson became embroiled in one of the most infamous criminal trials in U.S. history. In 1995, Simpson was acquitted of the murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend Ron Goldman in a highly publicized trial that captivated the nation. The case was marked by extensive media coverage, legal maneuvering, and controversial evidence. Despite the acquittal in the criminal trial, Simpson's legal troubles continued when he was later found liable for the deaths in a civil lawsuit brought by the victims' families. The civil trial resulted in a judgment against Simpson, holding him responsible for the wrongful deaths and awarding substantial damages to the plaintiffs. The case remains one of the most polarizing and debated criminal trials in American legal history, raising questions about race, celebrity, and the justice system. 24. Lindsay Lohan To your surprise, Lindsay Lohan, a former child star turned actress, has faced numerous legal issues throughout her career. Her troubles began with multiple arrests for driving under influence and drug possession. Lohan's DUI arrests led to probation violations and court-ordered rehab stints. She also faced charges for theft and assault in separate incidents. Her legal woes often overshadowed her professional achievements and led to public scrutiny of her personal life. Lohan struggles with substance abuse and legal troubles have been well documented in the media, and they have had a significant impact on her career and public image. Despite these challenges, Lohan has continued to pursue acting in other endeavors attempting to rebuild her reputation and career. 25. Justin Bieber Who did didn't have a crush on the baby baby pop star Justin Bieber, but he has faced several legal incidents throughout his career that have garnered significant media attention. One of the most notable incidents occurred in January 2014 when Bieber was arrested in Miami Beach, Florida for DUI, driving under the influence, resisting arrest without violence, and driving with an expired license. According to police reports, Bieber was allegedly drag racing with another vehicle when he was pulled over by officers. He reportedly failed a sobriety test and was found to have consumed alcohol, marijuana, and prescription drugs. This arrest was just one of several legal issues Bieber faced during that time. In 2014, he pleaded no contest to misdemeanor vandalism charges in California for egging his neighbor's house. The incident resulted in damage exceeding $20,000 and Bieber was ordered to pay restitution, serve probation, and complete community service. In addition to these incidents, Bieber has been involved in multiple assault allegations and altercations over the years. In 2013, he was accused of spitting on a neighbor during a confrontation, although no charges were filed. In 2016, he was filmed punching a fan who reached into his car, leading to a minor scuffle. These incidents, along with his DUI arrest and vandalism charges, have contributed to scrutiny of Bieber's behavior offstage and have impacted his public image. 27. Mike Tyson Mike Tyson, a former heavyweight boxing champion, has a history of legal issues that have overshadowed his career in the ring. One of the most notorious incidents occurred in 1992 when Tyson was convicted of rape. The case involved Desiree Washington, an 18-year-old Miss Black American contestant who accused Tyson of sexually assaulting her in his hotel room in Indianapolis. Tyson maintained that the encounter was consensual, but he was found guilty and sentenced 
to six years in prison with a four-year suspended sentence. The rape conviction had a profound impact on Tyson's career and personal life. He served three years of his sentence before being released on parole in 1995. The case tarnished his reputation as a sports icon and led to public scrutiny of his conduct outside the boxing ring. Along with this, Tyson has been involved in other legal issues, including assault charges. In 1997, he famously bit off part of Evander Holyfield's ear during a boxing match, including a temporary suspension from boxing and a hefty fine. Tyson's tumultuous personal life, including his battles with substance abuse and legal troubles, have been well documented in the media, shaping his public image as a controversial and complex figure both inside and outside the ring. 28. Amanda Bynes Would you believe that Amanda Bynes has had a tumultuous journey in the public eye that has been marked with multiple run-ins with the law and mental health issues? Bynes' legal troubles began in 2012 when she was arrested in Los Angeles. This arrest was followed by several other incidents, including hit-and-run charges and reckless driving allegations, which raised concerns about her well-being and behavior. In addition to her legal issues, Bynes has struggled with mental health challenges challenges, including public episodes of erratic behavior and social media posts that raised alarm among her fans and followers. Her public struggles with mental health and legal issues have led to speculation about her well-being and the pressures of child stardom in Hollywood. Bynes' legal troubles and mental health challenges have impacted her career and public image, leading to a period of hiatus from acting and public life. 29. Winona Ryder Last but not the least, Winona Ryder faced a significant setback in her career following an incident in 2001. Ryder was arrested for shoplifting from a department store in Beverly Hills, California, which led to a highly publicized trial and a temporary downturn in her professional career. The incident occurred when Ryder was caught on surveillance cameras attempting to steal over $5,500 worth of merchandise, including clothing and accessories, from Saks Fifth Avenue. She was apprehended by store security and later arrested by the police, who found additional stolen items in her possession. Ryder was charged with grand theft, burglary, vandalism, and possession of pharmaceutical drugs without a prescription. The trial received extensive media coverage, with many speculating about Ryder's motives and mental state. She was sentenced to three years of probation, 480 hours of community service, and ordered to pay restitution and fines.